Hey, I thought I would talk about uh, re maybe regarding that dream revision that I had several days ago. I had a rough day yesterday. My mind was dark. I felt pretty rough. I'm going to respond to uh, some of the people that emailed me, and I'm I'm very sorry. I haven't even checked my emails much. I haven't really felt like talking or speaking. I my mind was up and down, and the psyche was off. I was just my psychological condition was not very healthy at the moment and I was I went through the darkness of depression again and um, when that hits it's not fun but aside from that I thought I would say today for some reason today has been in my mind and it, it's the third day from when I had that uh, dream slash vision several days ago and I thought to myself today is maybe this is the third day it was talking about I don't know but I maybe maybe not maybe nothing will happen but something around this world might happen significantly today something significant might happen today somewhere on earth all right that's all I have to say so I don't know what I have no idea but it feels like something significant might happen today I don't know what that is. I have no idea. But I just thought I'd put that out there. Another uh, interesting thing that I wanted to talk about. There's been a very a heightened and heightened amount of activity as well. I also wanted to talk about some UFO stuff and how it seems that they they mentioned during that Fukushima Daiichi or Daiichi whatever you want to call, whichever it is nuclear power plant they said that lights were seen above it Re locals reported seeing these lights and then they shot off just took off and they actually seemed to prevent something catastrophic it would have caused many problems worldwide and also during the Russian war we were, we were going to let off nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles and so was Russia these lights were seen above it. These crafts were also seen above it. Above us and above Russia's nuclear facilities. And the nuclear codes reversed and quit. They just stopped. They just reversed. And the nuclear detonators just went off. Didn't even, didn't even work. They just completely reversed. And they said all of them became completely, completely useless. And they said something obviously is looking out for the greater good, our greater good. And that was very interesting. Happened with us and Russia. And it's happened multiple times throughout history. One in 1964, one in 1967, and on many other occasions, including recently. And uh, there are accounts of our military personnel experiencing it and writing it putting it down now recently if you look up you'll look it up online you will see they were told to hush about it and but about two hours ago it was posted Ukraine they said they are seeing UFOs all over their country now I want you to think about this it seems these things appear when there's about to be a nuclear war or just before one or, when, or just before a nuclear attack and they seem to prevent it Maybe that's what's stopping them from obliterating Ukraine. I don't know. But sightings are happening all over this world. Ukrainian astronomers are claiming they're seeing UFOs everywhere over Kiev. Well, suddenly, we're being told, even though there's mysterious objects being seen across and over several states right now, we're being told, do not release this we're being told that releasing UFO footage would damage national security the head of the Navy said that so now they're saying do not talk about it very interesting stuff but anyway maybe uh, maybe today we'll go off without a hitch maybe that's that'd be great but I just thought I'd share it that today is a date that 
uh, that, that maybe that had, I'm not saying something said three days and that this will be the third day, but you know, spiritually three days can mean a long time. All right. That's all for this video.